<clears throat> Hi and welcome to another video by Jim the Car Guy. Today we have a 2007, it's a Ford Edge. We're going to be replacing the front brakes and rotors and the reason we're going to be changing them is because when you apply the brake in this particular vehicle, your, your steering wheel vibrates like crazy. You could feel your foot pulsating up and down on the brake pedal. Uh, I did the right front side already because that was the, the one that was actually the worst one and now we're going to do the left side over here. So I'm going to bring you in, I'm going to show you what kind of tools you're going to need and exactly what we're going to do to get this job done. You, you really don't need any special tools at all, you could use just basic hand tools to complete the job, but we are going to change the rotors, we are going to change the pads, and we are most important going to change the hardware kit because the hardware kit is what causes the brake to stay applied, which then causes the rotor to overheat, and that's what causes the rotor to warp. So uh, come on, I'll show you what kind of tools you're going to need, and we're going to get started, and uh, we're going to get this job wrapped up and out the door. So uh, come on, let's take a walk up front. Okay, this is uh, the, the tools and, and parts that you're going to need. Obviously, we're going to use a new rotor. We are going to use some new brake pads, and most importantly, we're going to use some new brake hardware at the same time. The rotor, just so you know, we did use some brake cleaner to clean it off to get that greasy residue that's on here when you get a rotor from the parts store. So we cleaned the back side, the front side, and this area inside here. You will get a little bit of smoking because you cannot get inside here to get that grease out. So uh, that's what we're going to do. All right. Um, we are going to use, you're going to need a set of sockets. The ones in particular you're going to need is a 17 and a 19 millimeter. Um, you'll see I do have my 17 millimeter on my, uh, my ratchet already. We have a small pry bar to push the pistons back in. We have a larger breaker bar right here to remove the uh, 19 millimeters in the back because they were very tight. Uh, if you have an air gun, obviously you can use an air gun. If not, you can do it by hand. You're going to need a hook or a piece of wire to hold your caliper out of the way. You're going to need a file or sandpaper or something such as that to clean off the mounting area where the uh, where the hardware actually connects onto. We're going to need a, a tool like this whether it's a, a disc grinder or a piece of sandpaper to clean the face where this rotor fits onto the hub and of course we're going to need um, that's it. A couple of rags and um, we're going to get started. So here we go. First thing we're going to do is we're going to come in here with a with a pry bar, put it in through here, and we're going to push these pistons here back into the bore all the way in as far as they can go until they're recessed in all the way. We are also going to take out this bolt here, 17 millimeter, 17 millimeter. We're going to take the caliper and we're going to relocate it up out over here and out of our way. Then we're going to remove the two 19 millimeter bolts here and there's also another 19 millimeter bolt down underneath here but I will bring a light in and show you and then we're going to take this rotor off the car we're going to clean up the face underneath here and then we'll start to reassemble it so we are going to just get this this stuff off of here it's all the oxidation on here we're going to clean that up a little bit and uh, let's get started then okay so the first thing we're going to do now is we're going to take our pry bar like this put it right in the back over here just like this and then we're just going to pry back on the piston. Very, very little pressure just to get it to move. Let's get a light over here. That's going to be a little better for you. And we're just going to keep slight pressure on it. You can see that it's pushing back in. We're going to push it as far as we can. And then we're going to slide our caliper back a little bit. We're going to go behind the brake pad. And then we're going to push the brake pad back in. I'll bring in, I'll show you what I'm doing. See, you go right inside there and you push that piston back in. And then we're going to go down the bottom. We're going to do the same thing right inside there as well. Now you don't have to really press on it real hard. You just keep constant pressure on it and it pushes that piston all the way back in as far as it can go. 
and then we'll be in good shape. All right, next thing we're gonna do now is we're gonna take off those two 17 millimeter bolts in the back that we talked about. And you wanna break both of them loose at the same time. Otherwise, if you try to break the one loose and then loosen up the other one, the caliper will rotate up and cause a, uh, it won't stay stationary. Now, you could leave the top bolt in and you can just pull it out, it would pull out okay, but it's a little easier doing it this way and it's not going to interfere with anything. All right. Okay. Now, I just want to point this out to you. These bolts, you're going to notice, they are two different lengths. One is longer and the other is shorter. See the difference? One is long, one is short. And that's because if you look up on top right here, here and here, you'll notice one is longer than the other and one is shorter than the other. So we're just going to take this out, like this one now. We're going to take our hook, put it onto the caliper. And out of the way, just like that, so that it doesn't interfere when we're working. All right. The next thing we're going to do now, let's get some of the light in here for you. I hope that helps a little bit. Probably not. Yeah, I guess that's better. Okay, I'm going to take our brake pads out. You don't have to do this step now. You could do this later on. It's not a big deal. We're just going to put them on the side for now. Now, if you're not sure that you're going to remember where these go, at this point you can just stick them back where, they, where you took them out of, so that way you know that they're in the correct location. All right, now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to come up underneath here, and you see these two, these two bolts here, this one and this one, we're going to break them loose and we're going to take this mounting bracket here off of the truck and bring it over to the, to the side bench. Now, like I said, these were pretty tight back here. So we're going to use something like this, a breaker bar, it gives a little more leverage and they come out a lot easier. Or if you have an air gun, you can shoot it off with the air gun. Okay, now once this I think we're going to lose our light. I think it's going to die up here on us. So let's get this out of here. You can see it starts to blink when it starts to go dead. Let's bring our other light back in here. All right, hopefully that's going to be better. Okay. We're going to take our two caliper bolts out. Now these bolts are both the same size. We're just going to put this off to the side right now, but we are going to come back and we are going to change the hardware right here, all four of them, but we'll come back to that in just a minute. Now, you can see that this rotor is a little bit oxidized on here. We're just going to clean some of this oxidation off like that. It's not a big deal. It comes off pretty easily. We need to get that rotor 
off of the car. So obviously we can get underneath this and we can bang it a couple of times from the back with the hammer to get it off or we can use a puller to pull this off. But let's give it a couple of taps and we'll see how it works. Now this rotor is no good so we're not worried about using this rotor over again. So we're just going to tap it and you can see that they come off pretty easy most of the time. Okay, there you can see, this is pretty rusted underneath here. You can see that that's really rusted pretty badly. So we're going to come in here now with our disc, such as this, to clean this up a little bit. So let me clean this off. Once this is clean, then we'll come back and we'll, uh, we'll put this job back together. Okay, now that we have it cleaned off, we're going to take our rotor, which we previously cleaned off. Just put it on like this. And you'll notice... Maybe you didn't notice there was a nut like this laying on my cart. What I do with this is put the nut over the top like this, take a lug nut like this, and screw it on, and just tighten it down. And now it holds your rotor there so the rotor's not moving around and you're trying to get your mounting bracket back on. All right, so now next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna take off this hardware here. Yeah. We're gonna take off this hardware here. It just pulls off like this and like this. Same thing on the bottom right here, like that and like that. Now these only can go on one way. You see the flat side here? That flat side has got to be to the inside part where the rotor is going to touch. Now, what you're going to do is any place in here that the rotor, I mean that the uh, brake hardware is going to touch, you want to come in here with a file and you want to clean it off like this. You want to clean the inside part here as well and also clean the outside here. So let me clean this up a little bit. Once it's clean, then we'll come right back and we'll put it back together. Okay, now once you cleaned it up, you can just come in here with a little bit of the synthetic, synthetic brake grease and put it every place that that mounting bracket is going to touch. Just a little bit, just like that. Okay, now we're going to take our hardware kit and we're going to take our hardware kit. And you'll see that this one here, this tab is bent in a little bit. That's the one that you want to actually, put. I'll show you. You want to put the inside part on first like that and you want to take it and push it just like this. See how it's pushed in there? Just like that. Okay, and now we have our, our hardware kit is all back together. We're going to take these pins out. We're going to spray them down with some, uh, some uh, brake cleaner to get that grease off. Clean them off. Same thing on the bottom one here. Okay, and now our caliper is just about ready, the caliper bracket is just about ready to put back on. We put a little bit of synthetic grease every place that the brake pad is going to touch. Just like that. Okay, and now we take our brake pad and you're going you're gonna to push this piece right here in just a little bit with the brake pad. Just like that, and it goes right in, and it should slide back and forth nice and freely like this. If it does not slide freely, you'll need to clean up some more of that rust that may be inside right there. All right? Same thing on this one here. We'll take it and push in very slightly on this. And that's it. And that's what your finished product should look like. All right, so let's put this back on the car now.
Okay, now we just take this here, we put it over the top just like this, and then squeeze your brake pads tight. Now, like I said, these bolts are both the same size, so it doesn't matter which one is top and which one is bottom. And you want to catch them both by hand before you tighten anything up. Now, these bolts, these 19 millimeters, there is torque specs on this, but for now I'm just going to snug these in and we'll come back and torque them back in later. I just want to get this done so I can show you. All right, so we are going to torque those bolts back in later on. Make sure your brake pad is pushed in. And we're going to take our caliper and bring our caliper down like this. Now, if by chance these pistons did not push in all the way, you can see that they're pushed in, but if they did not push in, you would take a tool such as this. Let me set this up and I'll explain to you how it works. You would take a tool such as this and it would turn this in and it would push the pistons back in all the way. That's not the case though because it's already pushed back in so we don't have to worry about that. And you saw the brake pad fell out, we're just going to put it back where it came out of. And now every place that is going to touch the brake pad you want to lubricate it just a little bit, just like that. Right? Same thing on these pistons right here. Just a little bit of grease, just like this. Okay. Now we're going to take our caliper, put it back over the top. Make sure your pads don't fall out. You're going to move this little rubber piece here so that the bolt can go back through for the caliper. Just like that. Now you remember the bolts were different lengths. If you're not sure which one was which, you had it stuck in there as well. We're going to take the bolts and put it through the top right here. Same thing on the bottom down here. And now you're going to tighten up both bolts all the way. So you're going to catch them so that they're both caught, and then once they're caught, then you can snug them back in all the way. Let's get you so you can pay attention there. Okay. Okay, now there is torque specs on these bolts as well. We're going to look them up, we're going to torque these down, and then we'll pretty much be all set. We can take this bolt off right here that was holding our rotor in place. And that's that. And that's it, our brakes are now are actually finished. Okay, all right, so uh, the, the, the brakes now in the front are finished. Now it is normal when you get in the vehicle and you step on your brake pedal, it is normal for your brake pedal to go to the floor. And the reason that that happens, you've got your brake pads like this touching up against your rotor. Remember we had that piston that was in the back over here, we pushed that piston back in. We need to take that piston now and pump that piston out until that piston touches into the back over here and then it squeezes the brakes together 
uh, against the rotor. Right now we have space between the piston and the brake pad, so we need to close that gap in there first. By going in the car and stepping on the brake pedal, stepping on the brake pedal is going to push that piston back out and you'll have a nice firm pedal. So three or four times you'll pump the pedal and go to the floor and then it'll come right back up on the top and you're good to go. You're ready to go. All right, put the wheels on. Of course, tighten your wheels on and take it for a ride and uh, that's it. You're all set. All right, as always, thanks for watching. See you on the next one.